waiting for you to come flying along. Heaven, the songbird, we were so wrong. We found you, oh, a big bird. Lend us your wings, let us soar in the air. It's really nice to be back in Chicago. We, we always love to come to Chicago, but this time it's a very special time for us because we were able to do something that we can't usually, and that's have all of our families here, our, our wives, our two babies, our 
cousins, nieces, nephews, sisters, brothers. Aunts and uncles. Aunts and uncles, right. And uh, they've made it special for us because we've been able to be together for the last four days. And uh, we don't get a chance very much. And uh, so we're going to let you in on the two sources of inspiration for our music and for our lyrics and melodies and thoughts and so forth. And one of them is our families, and the other one is our faith. Dash and I, um, about seven years ago in California, we heard about the Baha'i faith for the first time, and we investigated the teachings and the claim, and we began to write little poems and songs and things uh, about Baha'u'llah. And sometimes we'd have maybe one person that would come up on the street corner, you know, and say, hey, what's that new religion or, you know, thing that you're into? And so we would sit and talk with them. Sometimes they would come to the hotel room, and sometimes to the dressing room. And more and more people began to ask. And pretty soon we started to have, uh, we'd go on talk shows and, and in magazine articles and things like this, we'd let people know about it. And then we started having uh, Baha'i rap sessions, or firesides they're called. And we would have these after the concerts. And people now are staying by the thousands and they're going to questions and answers and all this. Uh, this is a song that was inspired by the Baha'i writings. And it's a story, it's called Windflowers. It's a story about a young man and his thirst for new knowledge and how his father continues to hold on to the old world and the old traditions and customs. Windflowers. My father told me never to go near them. He said he feared them always. And he told me that they carried him away. Windflowers. Beautiful, beautiful windflowers. I couldn't wait to touch them. To smell them, I held them closely. And now, I cannot break away. Ancient windflowers. Their beauty captures every young dreamer who lingers near them. But ancient windflowers, I love you. So the same 
It's not a game and then let it slip away Like the autumn sun Should be dying But it's only just begun Like the twilight in the road up ahead They don't see just where we're going
Lily It's destiny that we meet again Here on this earthly plane Help me through You are the straight and narrow path And I'm the wayfarer Oh, Billy Lee We shall be free Object of our longing, we're His creation. We're like children of the kingdom. They won't be torn by war, nor will they kill or hate or hesitate. Baha'i, he must believe in three principles, that, my, that mankind is one family, that there's one creator, and that all religion is from the same source. In other words, if I call this light in the back Christ, the one next to it Mohammed, this one over here uh, Zoroaster, this one Baha'u'llah, each one of them come from different places in the room, but they all give the light. Change. 
Jesus to Jerusalem Riding on the shoulder of dove The dove upon his shoulder said he was the one The one to teach us how to love Mohammed stay down in the desert sun Stayed out for just as long as he could The maker gave him water from the river of fire the game is nation food. And then time passed Soon the dark clouds Came and covered up Mohammed's son But the young Bob Down in Persia land Came to tell us all the promised one Though the nightingale of paradise Sing at the bar the twigs of the tree of eternity With holy and sweet melody Proclaiming to the sincere ones The glad tidings of the newness of God The title song of our new album was written by Dash's sister-in-law, Lana Bogan, and she wrote it one night after she watched a television show on abortion and was very moved by this television show. So she wrote the lyrics and came over to us and said, would you put a melody to it? And we read the thing and we decided that we loved the lyrics and we put the uh, music to it. And one thing led to another and pretty soon we decided to call the whole album uh, Unborn Child. This is dedicated to all of the uh, expectant mothers. Uh, we know that for many years the uh, medical profession have argued over when life actually begins. And in the Baha'i writings, Baha'u'llah says it begins at the moment of conception. So we feel that if a mother has this uh, decision to make, that it would be nice to have all the facts before she makes it. Oh, little baby, you'll never cry. Will you hear a sweet love, 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 love. Three. Thank you. 
I'd like for you to meet a couple of people who are special to me. Their music has been loved by the audiences in Europe, and they've had a number one record in Japan. Would you please welcome England Dan and John Ford Coley. goggles on Then I hitch a ride down to the field Where I keep old justice in a hanger I check the wind with my finger And alone I take him higher Cause I'm the pilot I wave down to the people as I pass over their heads the children try to touch me with balloons And they watch old justice wings are climbing As we search another silver lining And alone I take him higher Cause I'm the flyer Justice has the power, sees the tower We stop and say hello Hello. He says, let's take some time to check my lines, check my wires and tires, let's go, let's go home. I've never seen the tire of playing loop de loop. And it's such a feeling when I'm upside down And I always keep on just to shining Like a drone I hear his engine whining And alone I take him higher Cause I'm the pilot Beautiful, beautiful music. Uh, this big, tall, handsome, good-looking uh, milk drinker here is my younger brother, Dan Seals. <laughs> I don't claim kin to this one, though. I don't blame you. <laughs> That's beautiful. So, you remember the days in Texas when we used to play and throw rocks at one another. Those were the good old days. Those were the good old days. He used to duck out from behind the wash house, you know, and I'd throw a rock. So one day I threw the, made like I was going to throw the rock, and I waited, and he ducked behind the thing. And then when he ducked behind, I threw the rock and I hit him. Just right. And Dad, Dad was going to whip me, remember? Right. That? I told Dad that I fell down. <laughs> so he wouldn't get well, a whip. He saved me. He saved me. Let's do, I uh, still haven't forgiven you for that. <laughs> let's do a uh, custom myself. Yeah, why don't you go get tuned up? We didn't have anything to do in Texas except play music and stomp crickets. <laughs> I'm dedicate this song to all the cowboys. Ready, folks? Yeah, I reckon. Dust on the saddle, mud on the boots. A couple of empty saddlebags except for two old suits. Tired and I'm hungry, worried as can be Last night I saw a poster and they're still after me They claim you were a Clinton last year in the month of June They said on the night of the 17th and days is old so good And they shot in cold blood in a friendly poker game Don't know how it happened but somehow I got the blame Dust on the saddle, blood on my boots 
A couple of empty saddlebags except for two old suits. Tired and I'm hungry, worried as we be. Last night I saw a poster and they're still after me. Well, I've worked up in the gold mines and I've logged up in the hills. Come spring, I'd drive the herds up. Come fall, I'd work the mill. Well, I've done most every kind of work, from letter A to Z. I guess I'll be riding now the past is chasing me. Dust on the saddle, mud on my boots. A couple of empty saddlebags except for two old suits. Tired and I'm hungry, worried as can be. Last night I saw a poster and they still after me. Six years now since that fateful day, my ride day to cease. Well, I'm hiding out in Kansas, they think I am a priest. Carrying the Bible instead of the 45. Remembering that poster say, dead or alive. The Sunday sermon's over, I look out towards the bar. Several men are coming, one has a little star. Well, I guess it's time they caught me. Running ain't no use. This road will never stop them. They think they know the truth. But now the star is speaking. He says that I'm free. But these years I spent running, they didn't have to be. Well, they caught me man six years ago, right after I left town. The riding days are over now, and I can settle down. Dust on the saddle, mud on my boots. A couple of empty saddlebags, except for two old suits. Tired and I'm hungry, worried as could be. Last night I saw a poster and they still left me. Everybody sing. Dust on the saddle, blood on the boots. A couple of empty saddlebags except for two old suits. Tired and I'm hungry, lonely as could be. I'm bound for Carolina and my family. A one, two, three, four.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bash, why don't you introduce this next guest, okay? Thank you, Jimmy Shields. This really is a family affair tonight because I'm going to introduce to you another member of the family. Uh, his name is Walter Heath. Walter, come on up here. I want to talk to you, boy. Get up here. Quick, quick, quick. No. Walter has been traveling with us quite a bit. He's been touring around, and uh, he's been opening the show for us. He was uh, on in concert with us, weren't you, Walter? He did the in concert thing. And uh, I'd just like to say, Walter, that you're going to have to tone down your shows a little bit because I have to come out afterwards and all these standing ovations, I don't know. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, Walter really is a member of our family because he married my wife's youngest sister, Garney. I didn't know they were sisters. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do now. Walter Heath. Jimmy and Dasha introduced their wives earlier, so I think I'd take this opportunity to introduce mine. Garney, right there on there, and my little son, Jamie. And I saw, I saw another one of Gar Garney's sisters, Maxia, right there. All the family here. I'm gonna go over to the piano now. I like to tell you a little story. It's about Joe Willie, your friendly neighborhood druggist. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Yeah, y'all know. <laughs> Joe Willie's real cool, too. You know, he stands on the corner every now and then, picking up deliveries and making deliveries. 
Joe Willie got his thing together. You ought to see him on the weekends, riding around in his long white on white, deuce and a quarter. That's Joe Willie. Decked out in a full length mink coat, powder blue. Get that. <laughs> Stepping high in his eight inch elevators, Joe Willie's really doing it. You know you're wrong, don't you, brother? Say you believe in the Bible But you had to get down with survival You swear you're full of love for the human race Still you just got to do your thing in the marketplace You claim the system tries to keep a black man down But you've been spreading misery all over town and then you have a nerve enough to try and say That your brother's just a junkie anyway You know you're wrong, don't you brother? You're dealing death for a dollar You're super fly with a pocket full of gold You're riding high but you're losing your wrong soul you know you're wrong, don't you, brother? To you, all the world is a jungle And you'll do anything for a bundle You live up in a mansion with a high stone fence And you don't ever stop to think of the consequence You ride around town in a brand new car but anyone can see the sorry fool you are And don't tell me that you haven't got a choice You're just listening to the sound of your own voice You know you're wrong, don't you brother? You're dealing death for a dollar You're super fly with a pocket full of gold You're riding but you're losing your wrong So you know you're wrong Don't you brother You help turn mamas and papas and babies Into slaves You build your empty castles on the grave You know you're wrong, don't you, brother? You're dealing death for a dollar. You're super fly with a pocket full of gold. You're riding high, but you're losing your wrong So You know you're wrong, don't you, brother? Wrong, don't you, brother? Well, you've met some of our family and uh, you've learned a little about our faith and I hope you've had a good time. We're going to have to wrap it up and I think we'd like to wrap it up with some good old foot stomping, hand clapping, hog calling. How many hog callers we got out here? All right, all right. Okay, this is the, this is the kind of music that we play on the front porch in Texas.
Ron Littlemore. It's a double time. Thank you very much.